Yeah. Welcome to Senpai's Craft Beer Cast. Today, I am joined by my wife, who does not want to be on camera because she's afraid of people. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> but she picked this beer out and another beer, so she wanted in on the review. <laughs> so let's fucking do it. <laughs> So today we're doing Touch of Crunch by Artisanal Brew Works. You can kind of see in there. It's um, a spiced red ale with cinnamon cereal. Contains milk sugar. Keep refrigerated and drink fresh alcohol. Content is 7.4% alcohol by volume. 1 pint, 16 fluid ounces. Um, government warnings, UPC, all that bullshit. Uh, brewed and packaged by Artisanal Brew Works, Saratoga Springs, New York, and there's a special agreement, Everett, Massachusetts, www.artisanalbrewworks.com. Okay, so, uh, it looks like a fucking box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch, which is apparently what it's supposed to be. Uh, it does not say Cinnamon Toast Crunch because copyright. Right? Yeah. <laughs> the description says, though, that it's made with a favorite... Cinnamon cereal. Favorite sound. Favorite, Favorite square cinnamon. cinnamon cereal. So, let's see what it looks like. So it is a spiced red ale. Is it spiced with the cereal? <laughs> I don't... It said, said it was brewed with it. I don't know if it's like brewed over it or... So... Wow, yeah, that is red very ale. red. Simply a red ale. It's a nice ambery, red, coppery color. Uh, head dissipates pretty quickly. It's kind of an off-white... A lot of carbonation, little carbonation bubbles on the side of the glass. That could be because, I don't know if the glass is super clean. <laughs> it's fucking clean enough for it to do this. But let's see what it smells like. I'm not getting any cinnamon. No. <laughs> I don't know if you can do it, but I, I get a little bit of yeast, a little bit of like, uh, like a... Oh, yeah, like no, a, not really. Maybe a touch, a but it's definitely more the mm -hmm. yeast that I smell. Yeah. So you get quite a bit of yeast. Um, it's not a bad thing. It's kind of like a spicy yeast, kind of like the yeast that you want. A um, little bit of a maltiness to it. Maybe even almost like a, like a sour kind of quality. Uh, any spices that you're getting out of it at all? Or, not in the sun, no. Okay. Well, let's kind of try it and... So, mouthfeel-wise, kind of right in the middle. It's a medium kind of mouthfeel. Kind of like what I would expect it to be. You get a lot of sweetness from maybe the milk sugar. The cinnamon's more there in the taste, which is what I fucking care about. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a soury thing to it. Nice spicy yeast, maybe cinnamon. Um, let me try it, see. A little bit of a coffee thing in the back of it, not not, not anything crazy. Oh, that's yummy. Yeah, it's definitely it's not bad <laughs> at all. Maybe something, maybe kind of like a breadiness to it. Nothing. It's like a nutmeg and a clove kind of thing behind it. Yeah, a nutmeg clove. That's definitely. Oh, that's yummy. It's not bad at all. I really enjoy it. This was. How much was this one? Was seventeen bucks for the four pack? Yeah, of sixteen 17 ounce? for the four pack. No real hot bitterness or anything to speak of coming from the hops. Maybe a little bit of a bitter, but uh, no like citrus, no pininess, really anything like that. As you someone can, who doesn't care for bitter, it's right where I like it. It is very very good. Um, the spiciness, the kind of estery. Uh, yeast notes from it. It really works with what's going on in the beer itself. So, there you go. A nice quick video with the wife who's no longer. That, 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 you got the fifth bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Yeah. So, is there anything else that you would like to kind of say about it? or uh, Just that I'm going to finish this can. Mm -hmm. You can have your own. This one's fine. No, that's perfectly fine. Um, the other one that you... You picked out the other one. It's a Mexican standoff, right? Mm -hmm. the... Yep. 
no. it's gonna be cinnamon, vanilla, and cayenne pepper. Yeah. I'm excited for that one. So yeah, she'll be joining us for another video, maybe more videos in the future because it'll be fun. Um, I don't think that she's going to like doing the Adroit Theory Hazy Triple IPA. No. <laughs> that one won't be for me. She's not an IPA person, but she does like Samuel Smith's Organic Chocolate Stout. Um, I like a lot of the claw beers. She's a dark beer kind of person. Yeah. I like Not the so much IPAs or anything. Thick beers and the smooth mouthfeels. Well, she wasn't a beer person until very recently. So. We're working on it. We're gonna get her. <laughs> get her. What happened? <laughs> that was weird. I have a new tripody thing. Which hold on. Uh, apparently did something strange, but <sighs> hopefully it's not broken. It's not broken. It was just. Anyway, if it is, it was five dollars. <laughs> yeah, it was a five dollar tripod that I got today. So this is my first video. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, we're gonna have to figure out what the fuck went on with that. But anyway, subscribe, like this video, all that jazz. I'll leave all the shit in the description. Cool. Bye. Bye. <laughs>